Is that it? Oh, we're rolling. Hey, uh, here I am, unnecessarily dressed up. Now, you can tell I'm doing some serious stuff because I'm not just wearing this sweet blazer. I'm wearing a tie. Generally speaking, these things are decorative. I mean, a tie won't keep you warm the way, say, a scarf would. And depending on the material, it's not going to be a very good napkin or a mop or a towel. Nope. We just tie these things around our necks and walk around as if to say, that's right, world, I'm doing important stuff today. So once upon a time, in the early 1600s, both Louis XIII and his successor, Louis XIV, used Croatian mercenaries during various battles. And these mercenaries wore scarves, or knotted neckerchiefs, as part of their uniforms. These scarves did have a function in that they likely helped tie jackets together and keep them closed, but the French king was more impressed by the mercenaries' fashion sense, and he wasn't the only one. Over the next few years, the scarves, which were called cravats, Cravats, or cravats, swept across France. They were more comfortable than the starched linen ruffs that had been the norm because these cravats were loose and less restricting. And as they became more popular with the wealthy, they also became more intricate with newer materials like lace, increasingly sophisticated knots, and so on. The cravat soon spread to other countries, earning fans like England's Charles II. Of course, at this point, there were numerous variations on the original cravat, but these didn't look like the relatively slim modern ties we see today. We didn't even call them ties. We were all just like uh, different words that basically mean cravat. During the reign of Louis XIV, the original cravat gave way to a variation called the Steinkirk. It had a single knot and a narrow shape. And as the years turned into decades, and those decades turned into centuries, the tie continued to evolve, and we created variations, like the bow tie. You've seen that. Josh wears one on Don't Be Dumb. And here's a weird tangent. Do you remember that song, Yankee Doodle Dandy? Right? Probably. There's a, there's a part in the song where this verse goes, he stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. But it turns out that macaroni described a specific type of fashion sense and the men who subscribed to it. In the late 1700s, a group of controversial fashion aficionados known as macaronis began tying their neckwear in certain knots and styles to indicate their taste, which reportedly led to their cravats simply being called Ties. Now, while their popularity may wax and wane over the decades, which is the case with most fashion accessories, it seems that ties, or something like them, are here to stay. So, I've got to be honest here, the idea of a tie seems pretty bizarre when you think about it. I mean, do ties have a purpose other than decoration? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel where you can catch new BrainStuff videos every week.